All right, boys. As you can see, we're going to continue right where we left off. Search the swamp. Search the swamp, lads. Our brothers depend on us. Follow me. Oh. That is one big boy. Got him. Oh, jeez. What the hell? Oh, oops. Nice. Okay, so we freed those guys. Alright. Let's go. Okay, they ran. Come on, let's get the rest of our men. All right, boys, let's go. Holy crap! Got him. Okay. Oh, jeez.
I hit the wrong button. Oh god damn it, I hit the wrong button again. Okay, get those freaking cages open. The hell guys, come on. I literally gave you the order. Oh, okay, there I saw Vitalian. They took him to the wicker man. Oh, jeez. Okay. All right, boys, let's go. Got to somehow make our way to the wicker man. Jesus Christ. Look at all these guys. Italian. Kill the Minotaur Chief Glot. Oh, you bastard. Oh no, it's full of nothing but freaking legionnaires. Oh, because I have to dodge. That's so stupid. Sometimes a man must look past what he thinks he sees. Well done, Marius. Soldiers! Soldiers! Well, don't just stand there, you useless souls! Get me out of here! Get me out of here now! I suppose that would be our glorious leader, General Commodus. Yes, the Emperor's son. Get me out of here, you stupid fools! I command you! Your victory, your honors, Centurion. At once, sir. 
Come on, come on, you fucking idiot! Give me your cape. Give me your cape! We marched to York. Commodus was safe, and Oswald ready to accept peace. I pray to the gods that an end to this horrific bloodshed was within our grasp, that I could finally return with my men to Rome. I began to realize that Commander Vitalian had every reason to question the wisdom of this campaign. How many soldiers had given their lives to achieve this so-called victory? For me, I had spilled all the blood I could handle. Governor, I bring before you Oswald, King of the Britons. He has renounced this rebellion. He will submit to the rule of Rome, and henceforth he will only fight to secure peace between our two great peoples. Highness Commodus, all we ask is that my people are treated with fairness. Treated as equals. So that all may live in peace. So that we all may live in peace. The peace treaty from Rome. All he needs is the king's mark on that scroll, and then we can all leave this godforsaken island. Your emperor, my father, he is indeed wise and fair. This is the Emperor's seal. It is a direct extension of his will and the power of Rome. Rise. Embrace me. <laughs> ah. King Oswald, here is your peace. Oh. Oh. How dare you! You filthy, stinking dog! How dare you! You see? Do you see what happens when you defy me? Never defy me! Barbarians didn't kill my father. The Emperor did. Save Rome from them. Now, kneel, you dogs! What are you waiting for? I said kneel! The 
This is not the time, Boudicca. Run. My father is a god. I am a god! Obey me! As you obey the gods! Get us to the harbor. Battalion! I order you to take control of these rebellious scum. Hold the city, spare no one. You'll all pay dearly for this. We will slay every man, every woman, and every child. Let's cheat on your grave! Reinforce the walls! Push them back! Now! Close the gates! We must keep their army out at all costs! I'll take control here. You man the walls. Marius, we need time. You need to keep these enemy out as long as possible. We need to get all our civilians down to the docks. Do whatever you can. I'll meet you down at the courthouse. Now go! Yo, what the fuck? I freaking knew there was something weird about that guy with the hood, though. I freaking knew it. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. I knew he looked just like the guy we saw on the rock. That's totally him. Anyways, so what the hell? With, which, the, these kids are idiots. They're idiots. Basilius and Commodus. Are you freaking kidding me? You literally just, like... You had a chance to not only sue for peace, but have the entirety of this island, essentially. Like, not the entirety. But the entire southern half of this island just bend your knee, bend to your will. You could have made so much money, you could have done so much, and instead, you pulled out a freaking dagger and you killed the fucking king. What the hell? Now my question is, is, okay, Mary saw the serpent. So he, he, now he realizes, okay, it was the emperor that killed his father. I told you, it had to have been fucking political. But now the question is, is this actually the emperor's will? right here killing oswald or is this just the freaking kids being stupid as hell that's my question because holy crap and i'm wondering if act like what good does this do what good what good does this do to be a constant war like i i don't understand this is just nothing but i don't know anyways i hope you guys have enjoyed i'll see you guys in the next one peace bye